Shot clock really good ten. defense. Harward, yeah, a long way from the basket. He is not an outside shooter. Loner pulls the trigger. Yes, beautiful. Cello to the basket. That's what you're talking about. Pepperdine did a great job getting second chance points. Loose ball on the floor. Averitt got it back. Here's a three look. Left side is good. It was really based on a lot of lack of limit as far as practicing and some of the protocols that they had to follow along with some of the. That seems almost impossible. By a minute plus in this first half. Averitt with another. The opportunities that were missed. And I'm just excited that we're going to be able to have an NCAA tournament this year. And teams like BYU are going to get to experience it. How about that? It's five on four, and Caleb Lohner will take advantage now. BYU at arm's distance. Favorite three. There's the right answer back. for BYU. Remember the, the advantage for BYU in the first half? They had 22 points in the paint. They only have four so far here in the second half. Marcelo did get a shot up. Lohner was there, but it was Harms with the offensive rebound. He gets the ball to Harms. He's got to go to work down here. Against Zedek, he kicked it out for a three. Tremon Nell. Got Buck winding down. Avery goes by Kessler Edwards. Wrapped it up and in. That high low has been very productive for BYU. Averitt back to Barcelo, goes baseline. Alex Barcelo scoops it in. BYU leads by one. It'll be Altman bringing it up across midcourt. Cedric Altman, crossover. He's a guy to shoot in harm's block. Barcelo having a hard time even getting the ball. Pulls up at the elbow. That one goes. There's Kessler Edwards. They get to that spot. Johnson stole it and saved it in bounds. BYU, Colby Ross, seven seconds. Pulls up for the long three. That one way off the mark. BYU has it, and the Cougars will play the Zags for the WCC Championship tomorrow night.